or even wondering how to catch massive fish on just a simple old piece of bread like this? Well, stay tuned to find out. What is up YouTube? Today we are here in memory of my father who recently passed. We're at a spot that we used to frequent quite often. Carp fishing, typically. Um, we used to hold this spot down for summers at a time. Also a good wintering hole. But we're gonna be here today and we're gonna go for common carp on the Chicago River. So stay tuned and I hope we hook up. So many duckies. So many duckies. Many people come here to feed the ducks with bread and the carp, as you know, sit right under them and eat all that bread up. So we're gonna use that to our advantage and toss the bread down on the bottom as long as a carp assumes that that bread is for the ducks, that the ducks missed, then we should do fairly well and catch a fish. We don't have much time. Uh, the wake is today and we are going to that. So we're gonna just pass time by fishing. I do it on good times and bad times and mediocre times. So stay tuned and let's get this party started. All right, friends, today we are here and we are gonna be using white bread for common carp. This is a long fished sacred space for me, this very exact spot. So much history here. Um, there was a time we had my grandfather, my mom, my dad, everybody it was a family affair for a few summers where we just came here and repeatedly carp fish we would bait 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 and we would just come here and they would just be stacked up um, we are here we are back in the area and today we're gonna try carp fishing we're not too far we're actually to be quite more specific we're between the Irving we're between the Irving and Montrose bridge so we're gonna go and toss out some white bread on a single hook and the water is up and very very chocolate milky today so I have two rigs I have a small um, a, I have a small size six hook on one rod and then I have this humongous circle hook that I typically use for catfish and I'm gonna rig a bunch of bread on that so we're gonna take this bread nice little flat piece place that hook right in the center of it and then we're just gonna wrap that hook around the bread and we're gonna wrap the bread right around the hook so the circle hook is hidden right under that bread there but there's this little gap here so if a fish bites it he's gonna get hooked we're gonna put that out there now for carp we got the old faithful slip sinker aka river rig where if a fish grabs it no resistance, the sinker sits on the bottom and he starts pulling line. So the first thing, the first time he feels resistance is when your rod tip is actually bending over for that bite. Yeah, all right. Our little setup here, and I'm not going far at all. You see I have this whole river in front of me here, whole river, but if you look very, very closely, let me put this out. So right where I set that, we have the current actually coming in and then kind of doing a swirl right here. So I have a good feeling that carp may bunch up in this area to feed instead of fighting that current all day. So we're going to try right here and see what happens. Stay tuned. So I have my rods already out positioned, ready to catch some fish. I like to cast my rods out first and then I like to flick some bread out there. As you can see where I'm flicking this bread, I am not going far at all. I'm like less than two feet offshore the water is up right now we just had a bunch of rain so I'm intending on these carp to be shallow so we're just flicking this bread out there just to kind of get a scent trail going and get these fish anticipating bread 
just as if someone was feeding ducks. Just look it out there. Wait for your rod to bend. I don't know what's going on with my camera, but I think I finally got it rigged up correctly. We're here fighting a big old carp. Lysha? I'm using the. Can you film for us? Yeah. All right, guys, we have a huge carp on. Just kind of have to focus it in place. Fishing over here, the water's a little bit up. Fishing about two feet of water. Not even, one foot of water. Got a big old carp on here, and he is fighting. And I'm, and I'm the one with the net. Yeah, we got Jonah with the net over there, using a big old circle hook that normally I use for catfish. And he's coming in finally. Jim, don't do that. It looks like you're picking your ear. <sighs> oh boy. This guy took me across the river. Across the river. John, net it. Not yet. It's not ready yet. I'll let you know when he's ready. He's not ready yet. It's not close enough. Jonah, he's not ready yet. Beautiful big carp, though. Oh, yeah. This is a good fight right here, guys. These carp are ridiculous. I feel like I got a marlin on. That thing is big. Dad of the camera just turned off. That is a very, very big one. Yeah, that's bigger than you ever, that one is bigger than you ever caught. He's right here, but he's just so strong still. I'm waiting Maybe till he's so close deep, enough, yeah. okay? Ooh. Yeah, that guy is a big one. Oh yeah, he's a good one. All right, John, he's face first. When he comes in, face first, okay? Oh, he's trying to get out there. He's trying to ease himself back out there. That's why they call these guys tugboats. They call them tugboats because they do not quit. Lysha, ah. stand up right there. So I'm at this spot with my two boys, Elisha and Jonah. Uh, this is a spot that I used to fish with my father, who recently passed. We're actually killing time because we're about to go to the wake. And... Um, I couldn't have asked for anything better than a beautiful, oh big old my. common carp. All right, you ready, Lysha John? Yeah. Head first, get him. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look at how big that thing is. That is a fish right there. That's ah. not a fish, that's a shark. I'm letting him survive. That's awesome. So we just had the bread sitting literally right here, just off the bank. This There's is what tons it looks of current today. The water is up, but just right off the bank here. Uh. Anticipating a carp will come shallow, and boy, did he. Let's get him up here so we can see him. Heavy. Oh, man, this is a heavy fish. Yeah, he looks like he's about like... Jonah, what do you... Let go of that so I can bring it up here. 40 pounds. Look at that, guys. Circle hook, big old circle hook, too. Right in the side lip there. He ate a uh, huge piece of bread. I think it's a catfish. No, oh, this is a, I used the hook for catfish. Big old circle hook, guys. I used this for bluegill for catfish, typically. So that just goes to show you, this is a tremendous, huge, huge, huge carp. He knew exactly where to feed. He was very, very shallow, feeding and anticipating the bread from people throwing the bread to ducks. And here he is. Let's see. Look at this guy. Wow. This is a big fish. Wow. I, I would be guessing it's like 40 pounds. Um, no. If I had to guess, I would say this guy's probably about 17 pounds. 17? Okay. Dada. Yeah, I would agree. With Absolutely that. beautiful fish. He's got some 
solid weight to them. Beautiful fish. Dada, look what I'm gonna do. Dada, look what look I'm gonna do. Those lips. Dada, How can you not love them? Give them a kiss. Good? Yeah. All right, guys, here we are. Gonna get ready to go in for the release. Absolutely. Hey, epic, I said, epic carp. Dada, I said, let, oh, we'll no. go in for the release for we're you, right Dada. We're right here off the Irving Park Bridge. And now we're gonna go in for the release. All right, guys. Here we are. Say goodbye to this awesome fight. Going in for the release. Now that's a splash right He's there, gone. right there. Yeah, that was fun, right guys? Uh, I don't want to. Oh, come on, just because my hand's wet, little fish yeah. slime, that was great. So many hours logged here in this very spot on the Chicago River. Uh, I guess last words is enjoy life and cherish those around you. Celebrate them while they're here. Don't wait until they pass to celebrate their life. Celebrate their life while they're here with you. Yes, they will always be there to look out for you, but you need to make sure that you celebrate them while they're here before you don't have that chance anymore. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. I have to go tend that wake. I want to say, rest in peace, Dad. I love you so much. So much. Thank you for taking care of my mom. Thank you for taking care of us. Please subscribe. I'll see you guys next Friday with another Geofishing exclusive. Wow, babe, that looks amazing. Fresh homemade pizza. Fresh homemade pizza. From the wife. Yes. All right, guys, one bite. You all know the rules. Pizza review. Kristen Provost's trailer pizza. Let's see how it goes. Mmm. 9.5. 9.5 guys, 9.5. Delicious! Yeah. This is Kristen, and this is her famous pizza. Pizza. What do you think of that pizza, guys? Delicious. I'll I give it a nine bazillion, bazillion million. Nine bazillion. What do you give it, Joel? A nine bazillion thousand. Nine bazillion thousand. And look at that, guys. It is much more than pizza. It's season.